It's Bob and Tom Tonight, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby, Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Tom Griswold. Remember you used to do that when you were a kid? They make do it all the time now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hi, everybody. It's the Bob and Tom Show. I One like month one. till my birthday. Oh, good. Whoa, right the countdown quick, write that begins. down. I like taking the little popcorn thing, that my little lawnmower, and going across the carpeting in my living room. Love that thing. Oh, yeah. One of my favorite toys. You be sure and take that to the home with you, will you? Will, yeah, I will. Willie, I will. can you make sure that he... I'll make arrangements. Okay, thank you. It's fun. Uh, Pat Godwin? Hey, chick. Every time you say hello without your headphones, no one can hear you. Try it now. I'm talking to you, Chris. You said Pat Godwin. I know. You were putting your headphones on, so I waited. Oh. Hi. Barely could hear you then. Hi, Josh. How are you? <laughs> hey, Chris Geisen's here. Hi. Sitting in for Ace. Perhaps we'll get there. the the Chris Geisen joke of the day. I don't know. <laughs> well, yeah, let's start that. Can we? <laughs> Turn the fan Willie! Off. Hey, Chick. How you doing, man? <laughs> Unless you want to see the wind in the uh, wind, I'm sure it's a good Tom look. has his fan on. <laughs> fan on. Uh, he sorry. likes to keep a fan with him at all times. Yes. <laughs> Christy had an incident involving a helicopter in your bangs. Whoa. <laughs> what? Dude. <laughs> Dude, haven't we talked what? about this? They look very cute. Everything's oh fine. God. Everything's beautiful. They okay? look great, Christy. Don't they go look, the other yes. way. Uh, they look very nice, Christy. Now, uh, I, I must say I can't help but notice that Pat Godwin no longer has his uh, pencil-thin mustache. Man, I miss it. But I miss it, it already. But it, it, pa it paid off. Uh, it paid off because, uh, uh, as you know, Pat uh, shaved his mustache into a pencil-thin mustache and then dyed it jet black mm -hmm. as a form of torture from us. And then um, <laughs> we were just hoping he had a doctor's appointment or something serious on Friday where he had to go into a stranger and they had to think that this was a particular hirsute affectation that he um, would uh, carry on in real life. But even better... I found out that Pat had a teleconference with his son's teacher, teacher yeah. at 4 p.m. and had to go on a Zoom call with the that was fun with the stash. Well, how did it go? Tell me what happened. Well, my ex uh, Kimberly, uh, she uh, I can't hear you. What? <laughs> there you go. All right. Okay. Um, you guys are in control of that over there. Uh, my ex uh, Kimberly <laughs> uh, said to the teacher, said, she said, I, my my, uh, my ex uh, Jimmy's father, the reason why he looks like this, he's on a radio. And she stopped him. She goes, I know who he is. My husband's a fan. Oh. So, uh, she but, didn't uh, say she was a fan. No. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm sure that she called her friends after. Wouldn't it have been okay, too, without over. without an explanation? I don't know. What's it, the teacher's business, whether he has a mustache uh, my, or not? My ex just started to, to explain Are you kidding away. me? No. You don't think the teacher's going to go? <laughs> no. <laughs> and there was a guy with a <laughs> jet black pencil thin mustache. Guess, I, no, because you. everyone doesn't think like you do, oh, yes, you maniac. Do. No, they don't. Yes, they were. Well, Pat, don't. very brave of you to do that. That was fun. Yes. Um, I shaved brave. on Saturday. Brave, that's what it was. Brave. You're a hero, Pat. Yeah, I did it for money. I wasn't be brave. I, I did have some good broke. suggestions, though. I won the bet. Two days. I did it two oh, days. Oh, I know. Did you get just, paid? I got to pay you, don't oh, I? Oh, one person paid me. But All right, Chick, thanks. <laughs> I didn't do anything for you. I paid Pat. I know, but... <laughs> your pay is coming. You disappeared okay. on Friday. I went to get your cash. I sat here for three gone. hours. Uh, uh, <laughs> Josh and I had lunch. Let the record show. Back I'm, I'm not the one that's dodging you. Okay? No, not at all. All it's right, write that you down. Were, you uh, no, Pat, you left it immediately this morning, or the Friday morning. Yeah, I had the, the homeschooling thing. Okay. Yeah, and yet I found a way to pay him. Oh, huh. yeah, Chick was That's right so on time. Odd. That's so odd, Tom. He slapped the money on the table, and I said, thank you, Chick. Uh, well, uh, sure. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, Pat was gone before we even did it's the last break. It's not a big break. deal. I, why, sorry, is uh, it, why are you treated like it's a big uh, deal? Uh, okay, it's not. <laughs> no, uh, for I'm those not, of you who wonder if Tom's personality <laughs> is just for the radio, uh, <laughs> over the weekend I came across um, this picture. And I know how Tom likes stilts. We talked to a guy who, <laughs> yes. who was on water skiing on stilts. He loves stilts. That and was a picture from 1934 stilts, right? of, a, of an ocean beach, and it has what? Uh, I don't know. It's six, seven, eight, nine, ten women up on stilts playing volleyball. Women on gigantic stilts playing yeah. volleyball with two women at the bottom. Well, you know, I was chasing the ball. Chasing, chasing the ball. Yeah. 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 Was probably chasing the ball. I sent him the I sent him the email and I said, "Hey, isn't this interesting?" Thinking, "Wow, that's crazy. That's that's weird. Where'd you get that? Pit? That looks really dumb. That's stupid." He he emails me back, "Oh, very cool. Uh, 1934. Uh, my mom could have been there." Huh. 
My mother was very athletic. <laughs> perhaps she was. Uh, perhaps she was on stilts on a beach somewhere. Yeah, yeah could have been. She would have been in high school that year. I'm sure she was not playing stilt volleyball. Did you ever know her to be up on stilts? <laughs> I Maybe do remember her. We had a pair of stilts, of adjustable stilts in my garage. <laughs> oh, my God. What? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. They were red in right. color. Absolutely. And they, and they had a, uh, like, a, one of those uh, fly-shaped uh, bolts called <laughs> nuts. Right. Well, a wing nut? Wing, wing nut, yeah, thank you. He's laughing so hard he's crying. You, you are so damn weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, would, you would undo the wing nut, uh, and you could adjust the height of the stilts. Sure. So when you'd start, they'd only be about two inches off the ground. Yeah. But then you could adjust them, so they'd be like two feet. God, I love stilts. <laughs> have you ever strapped on the ones that they use for doing drywall and stuff? No. Oh, I have. Those are kind of fun. Those actually. are the best. Yeah, those are fun. Because they're hands-free. <laughs> have you ever fell off a pair? I did that one time. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. That's a great way to break an elbow. Kaboom. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so this playing volleyball on the beach in stilts. There's no way to break fun a Fun photograph. I love those photographs. <laughs> of people having fun back in the day. Yeah. Boy, right. those suits are quite revealing. You can almost see their uh, neckline. <laughs> oh, that's a... Uh, 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 wow. Ooh. Don't want to see that. Uh, Mr. McGee uh, remains at the sports desk. Have we missed anything? Three Massachusetts fishermen nearly sunk their boat. What? While trying to reel in a 700-pound tuna off oh. of Cape Cod. That's big, big that, dough. That is big money. Yeah. How many cans of tuna is that, Tom? <laughs> <laughs> um, it's about 7000 bucks worth on a good day, apparently. Awesome, yeah. And now here's the rest of the story. A fisherman from another boat captured footage of the 21-foot-long vessel leaning into the water while the fisherman tried to haul the 700-pound tuna on board. Hey, you want to you put your phone down and maybe grab another net? <laughs> <laughs> he was on another boat. I know, but hey, guys are killing you know, the boat. The boat is uh, is healing, and it's, it's just uh, it's seconds away from filling healing. with water. Yeah, he's a, he's a sailor, healing. The stern was yeah. completely lifted. Mm -hmm. No, the stern was not lifted. The side of the boat was healing. never mind. No the fisherman succeeded it. barely by tying the front end of the tuna to the center console. Oh, that's, that's where yep. you keep your sunglasses. And yeah. Stuff. <laughs> and then pulling the fish into the bow or bow. Depending on if you want to say it properly or not. <laughs> yes. Yes, the, I, uh, and then the, the, we aft or ass. Oh, my gosh. Uh, they tied a rope to the tuna's tail. Uh, now, are you looking yeah. at this, Chrissy? It's, yes. They just about sank the boat. It's, it is literally almost tipping over. Yeah. My goodness. Wow. But it, it was quick. They, they were only in danger for tuna Half minutes. Aww. Two and a half minutes. Two and a half minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Willie, you hear that? That's pretty, it's like a song, two and a half minutes. That's good. Uh, you can tune a fish. You can't tune a... Yeah. How many uh, cans is that? I asked you. Remember, I the, remember the show Two and a Half Men with uh, Charlie Tuna Sheen? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Stupid world record. A German man has set the Guinness World Records for most body modifications. So that's right. Oh. This week's man. Uh -oh. oh, do we have the picture? I it's, am not looking that up. It's awful. No. Oh, this can be very handsome. Uh, no. no. Here's his name. Oh. It's Hans Need Tattoos. <laughs> oh. Hans. Need, um, it, this is hideous Hans looking. Hans poking skin. <laughs> <laughs> I really lost enthusiasm there towards the end. Yeah. You yeah. thought you were going to get it. Oh, I was coming out. Part of your body out, said baby. go for it, then your brain went, eh. Yeah. You came out no. the gate hot. <laughs> like Todd Gurley when he tried to suffer that touchdown yes. yesterday. Oh, no, no, I'm screwing up. <laughs> Uh, his first name is Roll or Roll R O L E. I'm not sure how you'd pronounce that in Germania. Uh, Buckholz started uh, getting body <laughs> modifications at the age of 40. Uh, okay, Christy. I'm his, not looking. He no. got his first tattoo it's, and piercing. It just gives me the heebie-jeebies. Oh. It's so hideous. Is last, it just on his face or everywhere? Oh, no, he's got everywhere, and he's got horns. They oh, put, I've they seen put this things guy. under his skin. Yeah. And he, Does he have his tongue bifurcated, too? God, I can't like tell. Snake. His tongue is yeah. it's just completely hideous. And In he's the got last his, uh, 20 years, amassed uh, 516 modifications. All right. Earned, earned the title. Oh, God. The guy's seriously mentally ill. I mean, he's got his... Uh, the whites of his eyes are tattooed black and... Oh, that's just I hate to get behind him in GSA. 
Yeah. Oh, oh, that was a funnier joke than. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I think maybe I my delivery why. was a little off, but it deserved a bit I more. I think than we're what still in there. the uh, glow of Hans' uh, poking skin. You're poking skin. right. Yeah. yeah I think. Hans' poking skin. <laughs> 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 Hans poking skin. I was taking my time with it, Josh. Like the guy, he's taking out his ear things, right, his lip of course, things. Yeah. Oh and yeah. You're going, hey, do I still got to take my shoes off? <laughs> yeah. See, thank you. Yeah, yeah it'd be, as, I see your point, Josh. It'd be very <laughs> difficult to go through TSA. <laughs> Now we've broken off a discussion group about it. Mm, I think he gets the world record. Least hugs ever given to a child. <laughs> I'm guessing. <laughs> yeah, there's a chance. His, his worst parents oh. ever. Uh, uh, as or Tom most said, LSD taken. He has subdermal horn implants, scarification oh. across his face, 90% tattoo coverage of his body, God. including on the whites of his eyes, 400 oh. 53 piercings, 35 eyebrow piercings alone. No thanks. He said all of his body modifications, the most painful one was his palm <gasps> tattoo. Really? Ah. That's actually interesting. I would never have guessed that. Um, Boy, that's got to suck. I found the uh, fish belly, the fish belly tattoo, the underneath of your arm. That hurt? That's pretty painful. Okay, well, yeah. uh, this guy didn't get his first tattoo until he was 40. I wonder what happened? <sighs> Who knows? That, yeah. of course, the underside of your dad. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's pretty painful. Well, anyways, body modification, they call it. Isn't that nice? Um, Don't you want to know what I have tattooed freakish. on the underside of my... <laughs> yes, I would like to know I what do. you have tattooed it's on the... tongue. Is that... Oh. <laughs> I thought it was a... Don't you... Hold your arm up again. Let me see. No, it's a, no. this is an arrow. I said the underside. Oh, 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 sorry. I didn't know you'd gone down Volga Road though, so quickly. <laughs> I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, nice to see you. Reno Collier has joined us. Uh, Reno, we were um, plugging the fact that you were going to be here an hour ago. There was a slight error on our board. So uh, uh, if you were re receiving any information from someone saying that, where were you? That's no, why. no, here's what happens. Reno wigs everybody out. He tweets 820 CDT like a jerk. <laughs> the whole world runs on Eastern Daylight Time, pal. Except the parts that aren't. What? Yeah, except for no. a third of the country. Yeah. No, a third? Come on. Uh, two thirds. At least. Come two, two thirds. You got your mountain Come time, on. your Pacific time. Your central time. There's okay. three. Your hillbilly time. Well, your the Miller time. time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the weekend that we fall back, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Oh, it is? Oh, yeah. it is. Yeah. yeah. Short, yep. shorter Extra hour of sleep, sleep, sleep. Yes, yes, Extra yes, yes. I wrote a song about it. Extra this time hour next week. Sleep, sleep. This time next week won't be this time next week. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good song that we're writing right now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, good, good song, but not as good as... Of course, Smack, our house band today, Smack, Black Moose. Smack Tom! Smack Tom! Smack Tom! It's time now to uh, Smack Tom! in his mouth again. Yeah. He's been pissing us off again. <laughs> smack down, smack down, smack down. I'll, I'll, I'll handle the lyrics. I'll handle the lyrics. Smack down. We need to go back. I'll handle the lyrics to your own song about smacking you. Well, got now got now you understand got why. Got a little bit redundant. Uh, <laughs> Reno. Reno, we just had a yeah. funny story about a uh, fancy New York uh, restaurant where Mm. Some guy orders a 2,000 <laughs> bottle of wine and it gets mixed up. He ends up getting a $17 bottle of wine, but he's bra oh, 18, sorry. He's bragging to all of his friends about how great it is. Then the yeah. restaurant guy comes over and goes, oh, by the way, sorry, <laughs> you got the wrong one. Um, I, uh, are you, I, I, can't I used imagine. to do that bartending. Oh, really? You can do, oh, yeah, dude. People come up and they're like, I'll have the Johnny Walker blue. And after the third one, I'm charging them going, you'll have the Johnny Walker black. They <laughs> 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 have no idea. Yeah. Oh, it was wonderful. Uh, it, uh, <laughs> Reno Collier is our guest. Uh, Reno was a distinguished stand-up comedian. and uh, Star of Jingle All the Way too. Thank you very much, Josh. The Academy looks overlooks like the Academy. me. But, wow. Yeah. I, did, I did not see Jingle All the Way too. What's the storyline? It, uh, oh, well. it sounds like a Christmas movie. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It is. When I, when, I first got, when I was first got divorced from my ex-wife, I was kind of like, it was, it was uh -huh. terrible. Well, let, me, let me tell you what happened. So we're living in this dumpy apartment. We had this little Charlie Brown tree. I'm like putting Coors Light on my Cheerios. I'm like, oh, God, you know, this was the worst <laughs> Christmas ever. I'm like, but don't worry. Next year is going to be better. Your dad's in a Christmas movie. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> Fast forward a year. We watch the movie. The whole movie is about a dad who gets divorced, falls <laughs> apart, and tries to find this stupid bear for their kid. And my dad's like, 
Dad, did you read the script before you told us to look forward to this for a year? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Shut up, kid. <laughs> so that's not a thumbs up then. Oh. No, it's a great movie. Perfect film. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Different budget than they had with Arnold Schwarzenegger because Larry the Cable Guy. But, you know, no, so I still get checks for 97 cents. Larry, Larry the Cable Guy is the star? Yes, he is. You You'll find what? that any movie I'm in, Larry the Cable Guy is the star. <laughs> <laughs> Ride those coattails. Yes, baby. my Ride. gosh. I, yes. I still got flannel in my fingernails. Right. Baby. <laughs> ah. it, it, it's funny because Larry, Larry sort of falls into a certain sort of typecasting thing. It'd be interesting if he did try to break away from it. And, yeah. Uh, it, 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 what, it, do a serious drama or something? If you went for this next movie, I'm going to have sleeves. <laughs> I remember uh, a, a buddy of mine and I, we were walking in a movie theater and there was a poster for Larry the Cable Guy Health Inspector. And my buddy looks at me and goes, oh, man, he has two jobs? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> Time now for Today in History with Tom Griswold. What and special guest, Rito Collier. Coming to you live today. This is one of those Here. things that no. really, really wasn't a big deal and was a total failure. But uh, it's still, it's always taught in history class. I'm not quite sure. The Pony Express. Oh, yeah. Folded up on this date in 1861. Yeah. All the ponies died. Uh, never that's, that, that's also, I don't know if you guys know that, that's also the first year that the post office started using glue on the back of their stamps. <laughs> oh, oh, what a coincidence. <laughs> ah, so it ties, it all ties in. That's a joke. That's right. That so, is a good joke. Uh, that's right. Yeah, the Pony Express lasted longer than Quibi. Uh, and was used by far more people. <laughs> so epic. <laughs> Quibby folded. Oh. Uh, let's Lots see. Lots of people like pretty unsad. Uh, uh, here we go. 1881, Wyatt Earp and Doc Holliday faced off with the Clanton McClory gang. Who sure. won? They get, they get no publicity. Who won? No. Yeah, this is the famous oh. shootout at the OK Corral. I think uh, Earp's, uh, according to Tombstone, Kurt Russell, he wouldn't lie to me. Uh, Earp and Doc uh, survive, right? Yeah, so oh, okay. Earp, yeah, got a lot of, Earp got a lot of grief because of his name. Wyatt sure, Earp. Yeah. Earp. Oh, Earp, sorry. Earp, was Earp, the yeah. Earp was a lawman. Wyatt, Earp's cool name. Earp. Earp, not so much. Wyatt is a right. great name. Yeah, okay. Um, I heard they had to, I mean, the reason that the uh, the people that they fought... <laughs> Jesus. Come on. Take brace time. brace it, yourself. It. Okay. Here it comes. <laughs> we can start over. All right. I'm sorry. So, uh, on, this date, on this you... date in 1881, <laughs> Wyatt Earp and Doc Holliday on, faced Josh. off with the Clanton McClory gang. Go. That's um, right. But uh, there's been some controversy with the Clanton Foundation. And so they. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, yeah. Yeah, there are a series of emails, Jack. Uh, so they're not uh, too sure. Emails well, yeah. and uh, yeah. dirty dealings and Vince Foster. Both side claims. You know, they have different arguments. So, right. Yeah. Right. There's a national debate. When he wants them to. You know something? <laughs> not often enough. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Oh. And I wasn't going to mention your bangs <laughs> again. But I am now. I don't what care. You, what did you say right out of the? I don't care. Right out of the box, something about a helicopter. <laughs> like a helicopter went to my bangs or something. Your bangs look really I good. I don't care what they look like. I don't. I, still think I you like might, them. Yeah, I, I'd like to see what just apart. I don't know. <sighs> it's your hair. Yeah, you. Whatever. Um, she looks very sweet today. Hi, Christy. Oh, How are you? Tom. I like your bangs. I'm just trying to. What about okay. your bangs, Baldy? Ew. <laughs> yeah, he is bald. I'm waiting for the wit. He's so bald. <laughs> the wit, yeah. Uh, I tick, can't. Tick, tick, Bald, bald, uh, Let's see now. Bald, 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 bald. Okay, we'll do it by the amount of we hair. No, we're not. Running the board today, sitting in for Ace Cosby, it's Chris oh, Geisen. Good morning. Bald, too. This is Tom speaking. Also bald. Hang on a second. Uh, Pat Godwin is bald in the thing. next room. We and never see your hair. What's your hair look like? It's uh, platinum right now. Really? We've got to see it. Yeah, take it off. see it when I'm ready to show you. Okay, all right. Fair enough. We don't need you to I've had it. You guys know who you're dealing with. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, 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 that or his next mugshot. <laughs> Poor Pat. You need to take off your hat for that. <laughs> you went platinum, huh? I did, yeah. I, I didn't realize you were a hip pastor. <laughs> <laughs> I look like I look like Eminem's dad. Good. All right, fellas. You know, who guy, wants to rap? That's a lawyer. I don't know what that means, but I love that joke. <laughs> I love that joke. Uh, let's see, where was I? Christy Lee with the bangs, uh, Willie G, 
Is that? A, well, a, I have a, more a, hair. Oh no, I'm than, sorry. No, I uh, Willie has more hair than I do. Yeah, I'm Wait. sorry. So it's Chick McGee, and then then Willie G, and then of course the hair winner is Christy Lee. Yeah, I'm after Godwin for sure. Okay, is right. it? There, there we oh, go. Oh, I'm losing big time. Yeah, okay. you look good though. What's the top of your head look like? Oh, yeah. it's balding. Oh. oh. <laughs> oh! <laughs> That's that you better find a girl soon look. Oh! oh there's Pat. Oh, oh there we go. Wait a minute. Oh, Pat. That's wait, a, wait, that was, you, I it look looks like a, great. Does it? I look like a Bond villain. I wait, like, like it. A chubby yeah. Bond villain. Oh, stop. <laughs> Gold Butterfinger. <laughs> <laughs> Irish. <laughs> yeah. I Doctor, like no, I will not take off my hat. <laughs> <laughs> so are you letting it grow and just become looks, natural? It looks good. Uh, I'm going to grow it out and see what that looks like. Maybe okay. a little salt and pepper thing. Yeah. I think it looks good. Yeah, I, I, I think it looks good, too. And I think the Bond villain thing is right on. Well, I think it looks really nice. You should leave your hat off. Oh, well, maybe I will you tomorrow. You should leave your hat off. <laughs> That's a good song. Who are the Bond villains? There's, there's Blofeld. Blofeld. Right. Dr. No. Yeah. 264. Uh, Jaws. Odd job. Odd job. 80s. I could be Die Job. <laughs> oh, my God. That, you, that, you nailed it, Pat. <laughs> oh, I am die job. It looks cool, uh, man. It does look good. <laughs> you don't throw your hat, you throw a guitar pick. Pat, why did you do it? Uh, you guys are teasing me about the uh, media mash brown looking so ridiculous at my age. So, uh, so you went you this guys, way. I went crazier. Yeah. It looks good. I think yeah, that looks crazier. really good. I do, too. Yeah. Um, th that's kind of the Joe Walsh look. My yeah. son also hates this. <laughs> you need a deep, dark tan is what you need. Yes. What? Yes. yes. You do not need to be taking advice from your son, Jimmy, okay? He, he's a good kid. He is a good kid, he but he's... He has good taste, too. <laughs> he picked me. Nine. He? <laughs> he picked you to be his dad. You gonna go to Fashion Week? What are you talking about? He doesn't have good taste. He's nine. Uh, yeah. okay. Watch the entire show live or on demand at bobandtom.com.